Today we're working on our A major scale. Welcome back. Welcome to the studio. My name is Cassie and I'm a professional violist and teaching artist. So today we're going to be working on our A major scale. We'll do one octave, two octaves, and three octaves. And I'll put the timestamps below in the description if you want to skip ahead to the octave that you're working on. So our fingering pattern for that first uh, octave scale is one, not touching two, not touching three, and then open D, or you can use fourth finger, your preference. Then one, high two, high three, and then we're gonna use fourth finger for that A on the top. This is the same fingering pattern we've been using for all of our other scales, and it's convenient because it's just one fingering pattern to remember. So I'm setting my metronome to 74, and we'll start four beats, two beats, one beat per bow. One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. two octave scale. Our fingering pattern for that first octave is exactly the same. One, two, high, three, open. One, two, high, three, and then we're going to shift. I'm going to use the same exact fingering pattern. One, two, high, three, four. One, two, high, three, four. So I'm going to set my metronome to 74 and we'll begin. One, two, ready, go. <laughs>
to our three octave scale, my fingering pattern is exactly the same as the two octave scale, except when I get to the A string, I'm gonna do one, two, high three, shift, one, two, high three, shift, one, two, three, four, four. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, we've been doing a shifting exercise, which I'd like to review. We're gonna take our first finger on the A string and I'm gonna shift all the way to the end of the fingerboard and pluck at the end. And this is gonna get us warmed up for those really, really high shifts we have to do in this scale. So thumb comes underneath the neck and then onto the side of the fingerboard, and then I pluck at the end. So underneath, on the side, pluck at the end. You wanna make sure that your thumb doesn't fly off or kind of hangs out in the middle of the air when you get to these higher positions. We want it stuck on the side of the fingerboard for a little bit of stability. Now some people are able to reach with their thumb on the bout here, and if that's you, great. By all means, stay there if that's more comfortable for you. I definitely need to be on the side of the fingerboard. And just a reminder that the higher positions or the higher up we go, we need to move our bow a little bit towards the bridge to get a better sound. So we're starting four beats, then two beats, then one beat. And I'll call out the shifts on the first um, go around. One, two, ready, go. <laughs>
stratosphere. I know your fingers get so tight and the spaces between them are so minuscule that it's kind of hard to hear sometimes. And even my tuner doesn't really register the pitches up there quite so well. So we're doing the best that we can. Uh, if you want my fingerings, if that's helpful to have a visual, check out Patreon. That's linked in the description below. As always, thank you so much for joining me today and happy practicing.